Hello everybody, welcome to this playthrough for Pro Division with the determined win here in Highlands a Tournament in Gold Clash the game. The video is sponsored by Gold Clash and Play Demic. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also visit goldclashtommy.com for more Gold Clash related content for free. You can also get the best guides on the market by going to patreon.com slash goldclashtommy. Link directly in the description down below. You can find the info box on the right hand side with the elevation and club distance adjustment combined with what ball and club type I would suggest you to use. I would also hope that if you do like the video don't forget to hit thumbs up. If we can get this video to 300 thumbs up that would be absolutely insane and I would be very very thankful. You can always send us an email at support at goldclashtom.com for it doesn't have to be about the tournament it can be about whatever type of golf clash related question you may have also you can comment in the comment section below but the best way to get an answer is through the support email in the end though let's focus on hole number one For hole number one we are going to play the rough bump. Here I want you to play with a side spin three ball which is the katana. Three bars of backspin, three bars of side spin to the left. Now look, we're going to look for the top left of the red ring to be by the rough line with the ball guideline pointing to miss the hole one green square to the left. You can see the tip of the ball guideline kind of curving in one green square left of the hole. Now with our adjustment we are going to make sure that we are going to pull with an 1159 pull angle which means that the needle goes center to the left. So it should be go center to the left and that, that is the position that you're looking for. Medium distance with a 10% over adjustment is what we're gonna do and here I would be saying that it is very 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 important that you do not have unintentional overpower on your shot. Because if you do have that, you risk to miss the rough because we're playing in head in tailwind and the ball is, is then going to fly. So really pay attention to how you center your ball into the adjustment ring at the bottom. This is a tricky hole when it comes to tailwind and the rough bump is not always our best friend. But it is very important once again to be centered into the adjustment ring to have this shot to work. Mid plus 10, katana ball, get in the hole. For hole number two, I would recommend you to play with a power five ball. That will prevent you from having to use that much overpower. You can also watch uh, the breakdown video for hole two specifically here for pro if you do want to get even more details about this shot. Stretch out to max after your added spin. You're looking for the second bounce to be kind of what halfway through the rough towards the pin with the ball guideline pointing to the pin. Adjustment is going to be max plus 20. For those of you that have a good eye, notice that I played maximum distance plus 15. I want us to play max plus 20 because you can see that we will miss the pin to the right. When you have adjusted your shot, you will push up your target the, um, uh, in certain amount of rings. The amount, how do you determine that? You determine that by doing the thing that we do from the beginning. We stretch out so we see the second bounce into the rough. Then we read how many rings into overpower are we with our target. If that is three rings, we push up three rings after our adjustment. If that is one ring, we push up one ring. And the reason I say that is because you can play this shot with basically whatever type of driver and the difference, and there will be difference in the amount of rings you would need to push up. If you do have an apocalypse or an extra mile, a Thor's hammer, or something like that. In the end though, if you are concerned, you can always send us a question about it and we can take a look and we can pinpoint exactly how much you need to do when it comes to your specific club. In the end though, hole number two, very, very important hole and you need to make an eagle. For hole number three, we're going to play a much harder uh, par five than we are used to on this hole. As I've already stated before, here I'm using four and a half bar top spin, two bars of left spin. I'm going to get back to you why I'm only using four and a half bars. Now I do stretch out my club, so I see the second bounce just being clipping the rough. And once I found that spot, I do drop my target. 
I then go into adjust maximum distance plus 10. You will then see the ball guideline being clipped away by the tree, but don't you just disregard it because you will not hit the ball into the tree with this adjustment. Half a ball of curl right, and then we're going to look for doing approximately three rings of overpower. And I would say it's raw, it's better to do less than to do more. And have in mind that this is with an extra mile level eight. So if you do have an apocalypse level five plus, which has more yardage, I would reduce and go maybe two and a half bar, uh, sorry, two and a half ring of overpower instead. So the overpower is something you will have to use by uh, use and base by feeling. And obviously I will have uh, some sort of a chart in the Patreon guide if you do have that guide. If you do want to make it a little bit easier for yourself, you can play with a power four ball. I do not recommend anything else than a free to play ball here in pro as a first option, but there is definitely room as you can see the elite ball in the info box, which is a power four ball wind three side spin two. So that is a possibility as well. The thing that that will do is to reduce the overpower that you need to use for the drive, but also it will put yourself in a spot with your second shot that will be better. Now I do have a sniper level 10 and have in mind with lower level sniper here I would in somewhat either recommend you to choose to change from the sniper to a different club so you can reach for the rough bump or you back up and bounce over the rough. If you're going to play the rough bump here as you see me doing I'm adding spin with uh, one with left spin and then the amount of top spin that brings me one green square short of pin. And the reason I want to be short of pin is due to that we adjust from a lower to a higher point in that rough bump and this ball will fly a little bit longer than we estimate with the ball guideline and therefore we need to compensate by that. And you can see speed wise we're coming in absolutely brilliant here and would be a very nice one if we could just been hitting perfect. If you are going to bounce before the rough over the rough to the pin, I would recommend an elevation of 25% instead of 20%. And the reason for that is that, I, uh, that the ball will then have a second bounce that you need then to adapt for. Uh, meaning that, you know, if you don't add extra um, adjustment for that, the ball will then after the second bounce go more left and you will most likely miss the cup to the left hand side. But lower level snipers could then compensate with an athlete ball or any other type of power four ball to be able to still do the rough bump even if you don't have the distance on as you do have on a high level sniper. For hole number four, I would recommend you here to use a power five ball. And the reason I want us to play with a power five ball is because I do want us to get over that freaking rough. And the benefit from going right side is that we will then get closer to the green and therefore have a much easier time than if we would be going on the left side with a drive and come to the right and we will be further away from the pin. So here I think it would be a very good thing to use a power five ball if you do have a club that is, you know, an extra mile level eight or below, apocalypse level four or below, if you do play with an apocalypse level five plus, Thor Sama level five plus, extra mile level nine, then a power three ball will be no issue for you to get over the rough because then you do have the top spin. Obviously a bad great left like I did there is not really what we're looking for. We're looking for a perfect which would take us a little bit more right than we are there. But max distance with a 10% over adjustment, adjust, push up the max, max over power and you can see that I went with a little bit more than one ball of curl which is the maximum on XMI level 7. The second shot could be played in two ways. One, you can bounce your ball to the pin or you can then go for a dunk. With this scenario here, I would honestly recommend you to play just a bounce shot towards the pin, but I try to go for a dunk because I love to go for a dunk, but in the end, that is not something that is, you know, the recommended option when we are so far away from the pin. The only reason that the dunk would be an option is that if we are very close and rough in the sand, you know, by the green after our drive, which we will be with superior level drivers, then that dunk is played very nicely because we play it in close to minimum distance of our club. When we are this far away and then we play no elevation whatsoever with our shot. If we do our, if we are closer to the pin, 
with our uh, with our drive and for the second shot then we're gonna start to adjust for an uphill shot which is going to be minus 20 percent if we are just there by the rough and the sand and you know it's very difficult for me here to pinpoint exactly where you change i think it's just important to have in mind that the closer to the green we have the more uphill this shot is going to be played and therefore you need to reduce the adjustment and now this is a different type of alternative you know you can go with a backspin shot towards the pin obviously now i do adjust this one maximum distance i would however recommend you to play this one more than maximum distance as now we need to compensate for the secondary bounce so in this case we would even be better to play this one maybe maximum distance with a 20 percent over adjustment to get that one correct and that is why this hole is so difficult in my opinion because no matter where you end up, it's going to be a different type of adjustment towards the pin. So if you get a birdie here, don't be sad or mad. Your focus should be to get the drops on other holes. And this one should be considered as a bonus if you get this one to drop a time or two. For hole number five, ladies and gentlemen, I, first and foremost, I need to say I've tried with the big top, I've tried with the Thor Samuel level six, and I cannot, for the love of God, get over that freaking bunker in a way that I would then feel comfortable to explain and show you. Because for me, that's a lottery shot and you need to hit one specific, uh, specific spot to get over there nicely all the time. So this is going to be a hole where I'm going to play conservative. I'm going to lay up on the left using red ring by the rough line basically being having my target aligned with the brown tree on the right three bars of side spin to the right and we're then going to play with in this case four and a half bar top spin go with a little bit of curl to the right curl is not necessary if you hit perfect but if you hit great left like i do then it's definitely uh, a needed thing so add a little curl to just help yourself if you do hit great left medium distance with a 20 percent over adjustment and power three ball is what I would like you to have because the second shot I want us to play with our sniper even a lower level sniper will not have any issues here the only thing that you might need to do then is that if with a short try you might need to go with a little bit of overpower but we do have a lot of room to uh, misadjust this shot here half a bar of backspin three bars of side spin to the right adjustment is max with no elevation do not be alarmed if the tree cut away the ball guideline because we're going to go max curl to the right and that curl will obviously take us far away from the trees and we will be nowhere close of clipping it. The ball comes in here and we roll down towards the pin area. One bar backspin would be better for this shot. Do I see this one as an albatross, uh, like a good albatross sit, uh, hole? No, I don't. But I do consider this one to be at least a safe eagle shot. We don't risk anything on the right hand side, which I think is good. But if we drop this one for an albatross or two, that's going to be a big, big bonus compared to other players, which I would see making albatross on this hole very, very, very rarely. For hole number six, I'm going to give you two approaches, one from the right, one from the left, but both of them need some work. Here I'm looking to play at the plus eight yard mark, or like, not the plus eight, but just before the plus eight yard mark. Looking here to use two bars of left spin, and then I'm using one bar of a back spin. And here I want you to totally disregard the ball guideline, because the ball guideline here will more fool you then it will help you. So you should more be in focus on the plus seven yard mark with the sniper level nine. When it comes to the sniper level 10, you're going to be in the plus five yard mark. Now I do make an adjustment, which is, uh, I do go after max plus 20, which is not the adjustment I want you to do. I want you to do a mid plus 20, because then that will prevent you from dropping down into the sand. We also adjust too much as you can see because we do miss on the right hand side. This ball come in nicely in terms of speed. The problem we have is obviously the adjustment there by the bunker which could cause ourselves having a bit of a problem. When we go over to the left hand side we are going to play with three bars of side spin to the right and one bar of backspin in this example starting at the plus five yard mark with the sniper level 10. 
which would be snipe, uh, with sniper level 9, the plus 7 yard mark. Blue ring by the rough line, and then we're looking for, uh, again, the plus yardage here to be our reference. Adjustment, medium distance with a 20% over adjustment, and then we want to have the ball to just have the right side outside the adjustment ring to the right. The only problem we do have here is not that this ball has a bad line, but it does have too much backspin. I would recommend here to play without a backspin because we do want the ball to get up on that hill, fall nicely down towards the pin. So play without backspin and three bars of side spin to the right. But this hole here is a tricky one compared to how it was before. And I would be, I would be, um, in, you know, what I could say, impressed to see many hole in ones in the start. But obviously, when come weekend round, we do need to be a bit more spot on. That's why I want you already to make a couple of tweaks to these type, uh, these adjustment here on hole number six. For hole number seven, we are going to play with our quarterback. And here we want to play with the blue ring to the left, by the rough to the left, and also to have a diff also an extra reference. Look at the shadow that you do have from one of the three that is to the left. You do want the blue ring to be just by that mark. Now three bars of side spin to the right, two and a half bar top spin, and now we're going to play this shot one to one, which means that we play 5.8 rings. 5.8 miles per hour which is the same as medium distance plus 15 power two ball settings now in the end i go with the right side of the ball halfway through the adjustment ring with curl to just help our ball to get that little extra kick to the right the thing that i would like you to change here is to add a little bit more top spin because we do get a very nice roll here into the green but the problem we do have is that we do fall down too short and we are a little bit short of pin here. So three bars of top spin instead of two and a half would be the recipe to get that ball to be in the hole. This is a good chance, better than what I think many of us do believe from the beginning. But mid plus 15, katana ball, three right spin, three top spin, blue ring by the rough line and that shadow. Then you're going to have a good setup for an all-in-one. For hole number eight, we come to another short par four. And here I want you to play with the big topper, no matter what level you have it in. Max top spin is what we're looking for. And now pay close attention to our second bounce here. We do want the second bounce to be approximately half a ring from the rough line. Very important that you don't put the ball guideline just before the rough. And it's very important as well that you don't give yourself more room than necessary. Because now we're looking for one bounce on the fairway, second bounce on the fairway over the rough and the sand and then roll as close to the green possible and obviously if we can get to green that's going to be good but I do not believe that that's going to be the case. Adjustment is going to be maximum distance with a 15% over adjustment and as always when we play with big topper a perfect ball is very much important as a great ball to the left or to the right with big topper's really bad accuracy will most likely mess this shot up if you're not very lucky. Make sure as well when you pull your rings that the, the tip of the needle should be straight up and if you're gonna favor any other any direction it should be going center and left. If it goes center and right and now you see it mirrored as now in the camera but if you see it center right, then you need to adapt because if you have center right, it means that you're going to give yourself a little extra push with your drive and that's going to potentially put yourself into the rough with the second bounce. So very important that you pay attention to that detail. Second shot is going to be with a wedge and here you need to show your skill. You choose the wedge with the best ball guideline. Very, very important. The best ball guideline and also if you do have a lot of topspin that would be very very helpful we do have a straight crosswind which means that this wedge is not that easy especially if you drop very short can you play this shot with whatever big topper or like the sec the drive yes you can the only thing that i could see uh, a risk with is that if you do have a big topper level one you might need to go up and play a power three ball instead of a power two to compensate for the power differences that it is between the uh, the level of big topper but no matter what though this is a must eagle
For hole number nine, we're going to play with four and a half bar top spin, three bars of side spin to the right. This uh, regard the level eight of the extra mile. You can play this one with whatever level of extra mile that you're having. Also, lower level Thor Sammers and Apocalypse will work as well. Now we adjust max distance with a 20% over adjustment. We're looking for the right side of the ball to be just outside the adjustment ring to the right. And then we do take our shot and we're gonna see this ball bouncing on the fairway and being in between the rough to the left and also the bunker on the right. This is a perfect distance, we don't need more. And because if we do roll too far, we will have the trees in our face when we are approaching the pin um, with our sniper. Now, second shot, we're going to be in the max distance of our club, or at least very close to it. It all depends on what level sniper do you have. If you have sniper line, sniper 10, you will have some room. But if you do have sniper level 7, 8, you will have to be, or like you will be in max distance. Max side spin right, I'm not using any back or top spin here. Just letting the ball guideline be as it is and trying to aim directly at the pin. And this is a shot that is very difficult to get correct. The thing that will happen though is that you will get down to the green, you will not roll, like you will not come in too hot, you will not come in too short, you will get the ball into the pin area. But if this is gonna be a good albatross attempt, it won't, but there is definitely a chance and we need to work hard to get ourselves a good chance on hole nine because an albatross is always nice to get. Those of you with lower level snipers, again, seven and eight, maybe even level six, I would consider playing with a power three ball from start, just to make sure that you do have room if you do make a crappy drive. But it's not necessary, just a, just a thought to have with you when it comes to lower level snipers. Thank you so much everybody for watching this playthrough for Pro Division with the tournament win here for the Highlands tournament make sure that you get your package on patreon.com slash golf clash tommy to get the best tournament guides on the market video sponsored by golf clash and play demic and don't forget to hit thumbs up much love to you all and good luck in your golf clash game